This video will show how to sense color using the VEX optical sensor. First we'll cover how to set up the optical sensor, then we'll create a simple red light green light game, and finally we'll end off by incorporating if statements to make decisions in our code. All right, so I've got my base bot here with an optical sensor attached on the front and plugged into port three, instructions in the description. And from the devices menu, you can see readings from the optical sensor. And the optical sensor can sense a few different things, including brightness, proximity, and gestures. But for now, we're only concerned with reading the color of an object. To read the color of an object, the optical sensor measures reflected light on the object. So it can't read if the object is really far away, but it can if it's up close. Switching over to the code editor, for our first program with color sensing, let's make the robot play a game of red light, green light. As always, the first thing we want to do is set up our sensors by going to File, Open Examples, Templates, and BaseBot with Sensors. All of this sets up the motors and sensors for our robot. We want our robot to start driving when it sees green, so we'll throw on a Wait Until block from the Control section, and then we'll head over to the Sensing section and put in an Optical Detects Green. This will make the robot wait until it seems green. And when we do see green, we want the robot to drive forward. So I'll put in a drive forward block. Next, I want the robot to stop if it sees red. So I'll duplicate these blocks by right clicking and clicking duplicate. And then I'll change green to red. And then I'll swap out this drive forward for a stop driving. Last thing we wanna do is wrap all the code in a forever loop. So it just keeps repeating over and over again. This means that once the robot has stopped driving, it will jump up here and start waiting for it to turn green again. Let's go ahead and run this on the robot. If I put a green cube in front of it, the robot starts driving forward. And if I show it a red cube, then it stops. And I can keep swapping between the green and red cubes over and over again. Let's go back and change our code to include some more colors. I'll duplicate one of them here. And instead of red, I think I'll do blue. And instead of stopping, let's have the robot turn to the right. If I run this code, now the robot goes when it sees green, it then stops if it sees red, and then turns if it sees blue. And we can also repeat colors like before and go back to green, and then back to red. But watch what happens if I now show the robot green. Nothing happens, what's going on here? Well, our robot just saw red, so now it's stopped driving, and now it's waiting for it to see blue. Showing the green isn't making it drive forward because it's still stuck here waiting to see blue first. So how can we change our code so that it doesn't get stuck like this? The answer is to use if statements. If I head over to the control section, I can grab an if then block, which is pretty similar to the wait until block. Both of them have this diamond shaped slot for a Boolean condition to go into. But the main difference with the if block is that it won't wait like the wait until block. It will only check the condition once. If the condition is true, then it will run the blocks inside of it. But if it's false, then it will skip over them and just run the next block instead. So let's change out these wait until blocks to use if statements instead. Now if we run our code, it doesn't matter what order we show the colors in. The robot always performs the correct action. This is because our code is no longer waiting for a specific color to be shown. In fact, it's constantly checking what color it sees at any given moment. Since the if statements don't wait, first the robot checks if it's green. If not, then it checks if it's red. If not, then it checks if it's blue, and if not, it just goes back to the top and starts checking again with green. The only point in our code where the robot waits and is not checking for other colors is this turn right for 90 degrees part. So if we show our robot red or green while it's in the middle of a turn, it won't notice the colors because it will still be waiting to turn the full 90 degrees. But this is a pretty simple fix. We just click this arrow here to turn this block into a non-waiting block. And now the robot will stop driving if it sees red during its turn, or keep driving if it sees green. If you want to keep expanding on this program, feel free to add new colors and change what they do. Maybe you could add colors that make the robot slow down, speed up, turn left, back up, spin in a circle, or whatever you want. But just keep in mind that the optical sensor, like all sensors, is not perfect. Sometimes it might mistake one color for another, especially if the two colors are similar. Something like red or orange might get mixed up, or blue and purple. It might even pick up a stray color reading randomly depending on how it picks up light in the room. So just be aware of these hardware limitations as you write your code. But for now, that's just about it. If this video helped you out, don't forget to click the like button to help others find it. And feel free to subscribe so you can stay up to date with any new videos. Thank you so much for watching.